our busy lives in a fast-paced world, it's easy to dream of an escape from it all. For about 100 people, that place is the Isle of Egg in the North Atlantic off the coast of Scotland. The island's residents prefer to live far from modern life on the UK mainland. Steve Croft visited the island for Sunday 60 Minutes to see the appeal and the unparalleled natural beauty. Here's a preview. Just three miles wide, six miles long, and 10 miles off the Scottish coast, Egg is part of the Inner Hebrides, surrounded by the Isles of Rum, Muck, and Skye at the edge of the North Atlantic. It's an ungroomed masterpiece of nature, too wild to tame. A craggy isle of incredible beauty, populated mostly by sheep and the dogs that keep track of them. The people do their best to stay clear while taking everything in. So what's your average day like? Some people would say very lazy. I like to think I just uh, make the hard work look easy. All depends on your outlook. Charlie Galley is the taxi driver on Egg and the only source of public transportation up and down the island's furrowed main artery. It's a niche he claimed for himself when he arrived from the mainland with his wife in this aging Volvo four years ago. Plenty of time to get the feel of the place. You know everybody on the island? I know them and their shoe sizes, and uh, like I say, there's no secrets on an island, so. So what are they talking about this week? Uh, mainly you. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Steve Croft's full report Sunday night on 60 Minutes right here on CBS. I mean, forget the full report. I want to make the full move to the island. I right? see a reality TV show. I don't in the know. Future you want there. people up in your business like that? I don't know. You I haven't want... honeymooned yet, have you? I have not. That could be a good Katie, idea. Katie, <laughs> hope you're watching. What's your shoe size?